Oh. Thank you, Catherine. I'm gonna to try to stay on time here because I like to talk. Um, and what she was referring to is the, and I have a picture which I'll talk about in a minute, but uh, it was the AAU National Championship. So we actually knocked off the Tom's River team when they were 13. So my team from New York, we matched up with them in the finals and we beat them one nothing. And I pitched seven shutout innings, went behind the plate for the eighth inning and we beat them one nothing, walk off and we got rings and it was this whole big ordeal in our town. Uh, so just a really great experience and you'll see why baseball is a big part of my life. So, so this is me guys. I go by Coach SRO, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, it's, it's these three things, it's windows, it's business, and it's baseball. Uh, th these are three big passions of mine. Uh, this is who I am. I love to coach, that's why I had the whistle. Um, so I coach Lindell, he wants to kill me some days. Um, <laughs> We coach, we, I coach his daughter a little bit in the office, uh, but I, I love developing, training people. I love self-development personally. I love to be trained and coached, and he's been, Lindell's been doing that for me. Um, so that's why it's been such a good partnership so far. So moving on here, this is who I am, guys. This is what I'm passionate about. Um, these, are my two, the, um, these are my two kids. This is Milo. This is Jojo. Um, jo Lee is her full name. Um, they're my heart. So uh, just, just everything that I live for. Uh, that's my daughter. Um, she kind of looks like Everly, uh, Lindell's daughter. And the first day I started working, looking, uh, working for Woodruff, she looked up at me like she knew me. And I swear I was in tears. And ever since that day, and I think Lindell would attest to that, there was something special about that bond. And she's been helping me heal in my journey. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so just really special stuff. Uh, this, this is my mom and dad uh, right here, Toreen and Ken, my brother Mike, my sister Nicole. Um, I miss them. They're in New York. Um, my dad retired from Frito-Lay 35 years, uh, worked as a warehouse manager, so really great corporate background. He was a union guy, loves to talk, loves people. That's where I get this high energy Nazi enemy that you guys see, uh, really haven't get to know him yet. Um, my brother was a high level baseball player, played independent ball played division one for Marist College, almost made, almost got drafted. On draft day, we sat by the kitchen table and we're praying and he just didn't get his name called. Uh, so he decided to go into the police force. He's a Washingtonville police officer in New York. Um, so he served, so that's why we're so passionate about veterans and first responders. My sister works for the post office um, back in New York and uh, my mom's a high level entrepreneur. So bookkeeper, um, she really taught me nitty gritty, tenacious, um, you know, type level stuff. So just powerful things. I'm going to move on. Um, I only have my car up there because it means a lot to me. I worked really hard for that car. Um, I, I, I visualized it. It was on my vision board, the Dodge Challenger. I visited Texas and they rented me a 2021 Challenger and I'm not a car guy and I drove it. I fell in love. I was doing 90 on the highway. Hopefully there's no police officers in here. And uh, it was my first trip out of the pandemic. And uh, I put it on my vision board. I was like, I want this car. And I ended up getting it a year later, just from through hard work and dedication. Uh, these are my two dogs. They're like kids to me, Sammy and Rambo. Uh, they live with me now here in Texas. They're amazing. Uh, that's my nephew, uh, Aiden, my son Milo together. So that's my brother's son. And we have, I have one more nephew too. Uh, there we go. Uh, just some interest. So I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York. So I put the Poughkeepsie Journal up there. Lindell laughs at me. He calls me Poughkeepsie in the sales meetings because I get a little passionate. Uh, but Poughkeepsie, New York, I was a college Division II baseball player, love cigars, I love golf. I'm a baseball coach here for the Dallas Titans and Allen. I have a 12-year-old team. That's why I'm passionate about baseball. I love craft beer. I have a few tattoos. Big Ohio State Buckeye fan. Jordan's gonna kill me in this room. Uh, he played for Michigan. I'm a New York Giants fan, and I went to college at CW Post Long Island University, uh, is where I studied marketing and business, and. Um, really um, unbelievable school and experience that I was able to have uh, through my ventures. Uh, right here was the, I'm a big diehard Yankee fan as well. Um, I know that's hard, I'm trying to get used to that here in Texas. I uh, can't give up my Yankees though, so. Um, but November 6, 2022 was a big day for me. Uh, I went and got saved and Christianity is a big part of my life now. I uh, went through a tough divorce back in December, 2022. Um, I gave my life to Jesus, and honestly, from that point on, my mindset came back, I lifted myself off the ground, and my best version is now coming out. Still have more work to do, 
Uh, I think we're all a work in progress, but I have my two kids that is my driving force right now, and I know that bridge is gonna be brought back to them, and I know they're pushing for me, and I'm pushing for them. So there are just some powerful things there um, that I'll get into. Three minutes, so I'm gonna keep moving here. So here's just some of my baseball background, guys. I ran one of the biggest summer camps at the single-A Yankee Stadium, which is my baseball academy. So I love the youth, I love kids. Baseball teaches life, uh, hard, dedication, passion. We were the 2010 ECC baseball champions on Long Island, which was a big thing. These are some of the teams I coached, some of the travel teams that I ran under my brand. And just some more, uh, that was the national championship there uh, in Florida, where we won the, the AAU national championship. Able to go to Cooperstown, I got to coach and play there, which was amazing. So if you have young kids, make sure you bring them there. It's a great experience. We finished eighth out of 75 teams from New York. Uh, so really great experience. We were one, one out away from moving on to the semifinal. Um, just the summer team I played on. I was a catcher, first baseman, third baseman. I still play to this day. And just some teams and we were league champs there. So my career, uh, I was blessed. I started in the Big Apple. So right out of college, got a call to work for Fox Television. So literally put a shirt and tie on. I got dropped off in New York City off the train, two hours south from Poughkeepsie. And I had no idea what I was doing. And I got whipped into shape real quick, working for high-level corporate executives. And I had a high-level sales team that produced tens of millions of dollars uh, in the market. So we did all the 15-second commercials, 30-second commercials. Um, so they really taught me nitty-gritty. Um, I commuted four or five hours a day. Um, so it really got me shirt and tie. I didn't even know how to put a tie on. My mom was putting my tie on. I made about $10 an hour, I think, at that point. So really learning sacrifice and dedication, uh, which was a big key to why I'm standing here right now. 1-800 Flowers, work for Verizon, um, running out of time, but HDTV, um, big thing was Verizon. I was doing door-to-door -door sales with Verizon, working in the stores, randomly got a message. Hey, Steve, I know you're having a lot of success. Uh, do you want to come into the window industry as a VP of sales? And this is my claim to fame right here. So New Beginnings, Window and Door. This is what I'm passionate about. This is why I landed with Lindell. Uh, we grew our company from three to six million in the middle of the pandemic. We went from almost losing our jobs, being locked in a house, not able to do anything. I was recently married, a brand new dad. Both of our incomes were almost gone. Um, didn't know what to do. It was scary. Uh, but I pivoted, hired a business coach, dialed in, and got myself off the ground. We became one of the fastest growing dealers in the tri-state area uh, in a two and a half year span that I was with them. So I'm just gonna wrap up, it goes quick. So I'm just really great at farming relationships, guys. That's what I'm passionate about, just being a baseball coach, being a catcher. Um, I always had to work with the pitcher and learn personalities, and that's what I bring into business. I always give people the time of day, I listen really well, and I love to, to just grind and get after it. Uh, this is what developed over the pandemic. Um, I was just recently featured in Deliver Your Message like a rock star. Uh, as one of the top 33 entrepreneurs um, with Craig Duswalt. I do my own podcast, Field of Dreams podcast. Elizabeth came on, it was amazing. Um, and just I coach other businesses to, to help dial in and scale their companies on a cleat string budget. So if you wanna learn you know, how to do things, not spend a lot of money and grow your companies, grow your teams, grow your environment, be positive and teach, I'm the guy you wanna come talk to. He's my coach. That's right. And just wrapping up here, because I know I'm out of time. Um, here's my future, guys. I landed here, uh, came here with nothing, packed my car with my two dogs, had a dollar to my name, I sold all my furniture, and I barely got here, pulled into Texas, the sun, January 28th, 2023. The sun hit me hard at 9.30 at night, drove a day and a half without really stopping. Didn't know what I was coming here for, came here for roofing. Roofers, I give you a lot of credit. It's one of the hardest industries out there. Um, and Mary Topham introduced me to Lindell and changed the game for me because I saw my future right out in front of my eyes. And I've been praying to move here since 2020. I wrote it down on the plane and literally a, a week before 2023, I got a call to, uh, for roofing to move out here. And my family's super Catholic, doesn't believe in divorce. So I was literally shunned. I lived in a bedroom for six months, spent Christmas alone, spent my birthday alone, and I took the opportunity to come out here because I knew this, this is where my greatness was. And you people here are special because 
the, the way you take people in from other places is phenomenal. And when I just landed here, I'm now, I got coaching thrown in my way. I got Lyndall and Christina in my corner um, and his daughter and their family, his father, uh, just being integrated in the community. Elizabeth and Fred introduced me to Cottonwood Creek Church, so I'm super active there. And I got my life together. So I want to thank all of you and thank you for the time.